and welcome to today's video. I'm going to entitle it In the Kitchen with Tessie. Simply, that's what we're going to be doing. I'm in the kitchen all day. I'm going to share with you how you can make some zucchini Amish hot dog relish. It's not just for hot dogs. You can use it as a side dish. You can use it for on salads, on burgers, on chicken. It's an amazing recipe that I came up with many years ago. In fact, it was 2011 when I came up with the recipe. I'm going to share with you how you can can it and let's get started in the kitchen. 10 cups of zucchini shredded with the skins on, 4 cups of ground onion, 1 chopped red pepper, and 1 chopped green pepper. To that you're going to add 4 tablespoons of canning salt and we are going to soak that overnight. So this is the vegetables and we had them soaking overnight in two tablespoons of canning salt. We made sure that we drained and we rinsed this very well. Now we're going to add our brine. Our brine calls for two cups of white vinegar, five cups of sugar, one teaspoon of dried mustard. So this is dry mustard or ground mustard. So one teaspoon. One teaspoon of turmeric. teaspoons of celery seed. And just one pinch of some pepper. I'm using white pepper and I'm using just a little bit. One teaspoon of cornstarch. This is just going to give it just a little bit of thickener to it. And there we go. That is our brine. So now what we're going to do is we're going to let this simmer for 20 minutes. We have to stir it real good. I've had a lot of subscribers make this in the last year and everybody loves it. Just ask Ellen Fisher if she likes it. <laughs> all right, so all we have to do is let this simmer for about 20 minutes. Then we're going to go ahead and we'll put it in our jars. I am using pint jars. So the relish is finished. Now we're just going to go ahead and put it into our pint jars. I love about the Tech Fresh. Now people hear me talking about an electric canner. This is a water bath canner. It is not a pressure canner. There's no such thing as an electric pressure canner 
that I know of that is safe to use. A lot of people use the Instapot to pressure can. I don't know if I would recommend that. I don't know enough to know about that. But this is an electric canner, but this is a water bath. And the reason why I love this is because it doesn't generate any heat in the house like a regular canner would. The unit doesn't get hot like a regular canner, and you have good boiling water. It just doesn't emit the steam and the heat like an old-fashioned canner would, where I would have to turn on my propane stove. My stove is propane, which means open fire, which means awful, awful hot in the summer. So we're going to go ahead, when this water boils, we're going to put these in and we're going to can them for about 20 minutes. If canning is something you're interested in, here's my playlist. It covers every aspect of canning, from canning meat to canning vegetables, pressure canners and water bath, even a lot of beginner tutorials. Look at these.